Hi, my name is Steve Parley with Moose Logic. I'm here today. I'm going to demonstrate two products for you from Citrix. One is the merchandising server, and I'm also going to show you Citrix Dazzle. And why are these products important to you? The reason these are important to you is because they're going to make your life a lot easier. What we used to have to do to update clients and things like that was go out and touch each PC or have the user install them themselves. These two products automate that process for you. Now, where do I get this product? These products are available to pretty much anybody who owns a Citrix Zen app, Zen desktop pro, um, products. You get them off the My Citrix website. They're a simple download. The merchandising server is a virtual appliance that runs on either Zen server or VMware. And um, it takes uh, 15 to 20 minutes to get that installed and up and running. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the interfaces and how they work. Uh, let's start here with the Citrix receiver. It runs here in my system tray. And if I right click that and choose preferences, this interface comes up. And if I choose plugin status, you'll see the plugins I currently have installed on my machine. Now presently I have two installed. I have the acceleration plugin, which is for branch repeater. And I have the secure access plugin, which is the VPN client for you know, access through an access gateway. I need to add two more. I'm going to add the Citrix online client, which is the Citrix ICA engine, allows us to run published apps, etc. And I'm going to go ahead and add Dazzle so I can show you what Dazzle does. So what happens for me to do this is I access this interface, which is a simple website that talks to the uh, Citrix merchandising server in the background server infrastructure. And what you need to do to get this set up is just a few things. You, you first need to get some plugins loaded into the environment. In order to do that, you just click on Get New. And that goes out to the Citrix environment, their website, and says what plugins are available out there, and gives you the option to choose from those plugins to upload into your merchandising server. As you can see, there are some new ones that are available here. In the interest of time, I'm not going to pull those down, but I could just simply click on one and say, download to the merchandising server. Once you have your plugins, as you can see, I have multiple different plugins that I've already downloaded. You can then choose to deliver those through a delivery package. In order to create a delivery package, the first thing you need to do is create some rules. The rules are filters for what type of machines you're going to deliver to. As you can see, I've got three different ones. The one I'm going to use today um, looks at the operating system of the machine, and if it's a Windows 7 operating system, it'll deliver this package. To create the package delivery, you go to Deliveries. And right now you can see I have three packages that I've already created. I'm going to go ahead and use this Windows 7 online full package that will deliver both Dazzle and the online full client to my machine. So in order to do that, I need to edit that package. And there's five steps. The first step is you go ahead and give it some basic information about the package, what the name of it is, so on and so forth. Step two is you select the, pack, the, the plugins that you want to deliver with this package. As you can see, I have four of them already uh, selected here. I'm going to deliver the Dazzle plugin and the online plugin, which are not on my machine right now. Step three is to add any additional configuration that you need to add for the plugins to work. Dazzle needs to have information about where the store is located. The online client needs to know how to access the Citrix backend infrastructure. You enter that information here on the screen. Step four is you choose your rules for delivery. I'm going to use this simple, if the operating system is Windows 7, deliver. And the final thing you do is you schedule that package for delivery. You can choose to deliver it later or deliver it now. And I'm going to go ahead and select deliver it now which will activate this delivery and allow it to deliver the packages to my machine. So now as you can see this is now an active delivery package and if I go to my receiver client here in my system tray in the interest of time I'm going to tell it to check for an update and I click check updates and it immediately comes back and says, here's a couple of new packages for you to download. What do you want to do? I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And as you can see, it immediately starts downloading those packages and it's going to install them to my machine. The process takes 
30 seconds to upwards of a minute or so, depending on if you're on a LAN connection or a WAN connection. Um, and while I wait for that, I'm going to talk real briefly about Dazzle. A lot of people say, well, what does Dazzle do for me? What Dazzle does is it allows your users to self-subscribe to applications. So let's say you've published applications to a group of users. And maybe a specific user has access to 25 different applications. But in his everyday job, he only uses four of them. He doesn't need all 25. With Dazzle, the store, they can go in and subscribe to the applications that they actually need and not subscribe to the ones they don't use. So those packages have actually finished delivering to my machine, as you can see here. The plugin status now shows all these plugins, Dazzle, the Citrix Online plugin is, is right here. And what I'm going to show you now is how Dazzle actually works. So I've delivered Dazzle. I have a couple of ways I can access it. I'm going to right click my receiver and say open Dazzle. And Dazzle will open up. And the first thing I need to do is I need to authenticate to it. And I'm going to have, go ahead and log on. Now Dazzle goes ahead and it accesses the back-end infrastructure for Citrix. And at this point it says, what applications do you have that are available to you to run? And I've already subscribed to Excel and Word. And they're already on my machine available to me. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to PowerPoint. So in order to do that, I simply click Add. It adds the PowerPoint to my available applications. And now what I need to do is I go Start program files and I locate the Dazzle folder and within the Dazzle folder you actually see PowerPoint available to me and if I click on that what will happen is it's actually going to run, launch a Citrix session to my back-end Citrix server infrastructure uh, and run that application as a published application and as you can see it's starting that process right now and the application will be up and running here in a few seconds so this has been Merchandising Server and Dazzle, and the reason you want to run these is because it will make your life a lot easier. Thanks for spending this time with me. My name is Steve Parley with Moose Logic.